the house this morning. Glad to have you be a part of us here at Solid Rock this morning. Good to be in the house of God this morning. Good to know Jesus. If you need salvation, there's a Savior in the house this morning. If you need a healing, there's a healer in the house this morning. Whatever you might need this morning, he's in the house to meet your every need this morning. Let everything happen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I feel the joy of the Lord falling fresh on me. I feel the joy of the Lord delivering me.
praise this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So good to have the victory. Hallelujah. It's okay to celebrate, you know. He, he, the joy of the Holy Ghost is on us this morning. Hallelujah. And it's because Jesus is still in the throne. Yes. He's still on the throne. He's still in yes. charge. Hallelujah. How many come with a grateful heart this morning? You, I tell you what, I'm so thankful to be back in the house of the Lord this morning. So thankful to be saved. So thankful in my, in my darkest hour, Jesus was there. In my biggest need, in my in my in my worst situation, Jesus was right there. He was right there to minister. So thankful to know him as my savior this morning. So thankful. I tell you what, let's just raise our hands towards heaven and let's just thank Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's just welcome him into our midst this morning. Hallelujah. Empty 
Let's give you my hand clap once again this morning. Hallelujah. Jesus can change your life. Hallelujah. I'll tell you what, the church house this morning is full of examples of how Jesus has touched lives and changed lives. Hallelujah. So good to see all the smiling faces in the house of the Lord this morning. You can be seated just for a moment. Hallelujah. Let's make Brother Jason welcome this morning. Give him a hand clap. Thank everybody for being with us this morning. We're going to receive the tithes and offerings. And thank you for being faithful in that. And uh, this is our home, you know, and uh, this is our church. Amen. And um, you invest in things you care about. I mean, how many drives a vehicle and don't don't invest something in it? Uh, you know, uh, this is ours. God's blessed us and, and put us here not only to receive, but also to give. And, uh, you know, the Lord said, come follow me, I'll make you fishers of men. And if you sat here this morning and you're following Jesus as your Savior, amen, he said that you'd be fishers among men. He said that you'd be above and not beneath. You'd be the head and not the tail. He never promised one time that the meal barrel wouldn't run low, but he did promise that it would never run dry. He never promised that you'd never have hard times, but he did promise that he would never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. If he has to cause the ravens to come feed you, God will make a way in the midst of hell. That's just the God we serve. As we get ready to receive the offerings again, thank you for being faithful in your tithing offering. In Deuteronomy 15, 10, it says, Thou shalt surely give to him, and thy heart shall not be grieved when thou givest unto him, because for this thing the Lord God shall bless thee in all thy works, in all that thou puttest thy hand unto. Amen. Everything you do will be blessed this morning. Amen. Because you're a giver. Everything you do, amen, everything that you sow into the kingdom of God is recorded, amen. God sees every time, amen, every time, amen. He sees every time we, we, we didn't tithe, amen. Thank God we serve a merciful God, amen. As offering takers will come, I'll say this, amen. If God can't bless you, I mean, can't trust us to pay tithes on $400 a week, how is God going to trust us if he blesses us with $4,000 a week to pay tithes on it? Amen. I asked you this morning, reach your hands this way. Let's ask the Lord's blessings upon this. Father, we just thank you. Father, we praise you, Lord, that, that you've always making a way. Father, that you're always blessing, Lord. Help us to realize just how blessed we are this morning, Lord, as we sow into the kingdom of God. Father, we ask you, Lord, we sow in faith. Uh, Father, we ask you to multiply and bless the givers this morning, those with a heart to give. Father, we ask you to minister in a mighty way with this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
not strong enough to put up a good fight. When he told you you're not worthy, when he told you you're not loved, when he told you you're not beautiful, you'll never be enough.
stop you in your step.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's all stand to our feet this morning. Let's give Jesus a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Perfect love casts out all fear. Hallelujah. So thankful for Jesus. Hallelujah. At this time, help me make welcome our pastor, Brother Keith. Let's give Jesus a great big hand this morning. Come on. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad for Jesus this morning? Come on. Let's give God a great big shout of praise in this house this morning. He's worthy. He's worthy of every praise. Hallelujah. It's only because of him we even here this morning. You know that? Amen. He's a mighty good God. Amen. How many knows that song's a very powerful song this morning? Fear is a liar this morning. Amen. God bless you. You can be seated. It's so good to see you in the house of the Lord this morning. Amen. How many knows that we're privileged to be here this morning? Amen. Hallelujah. God's a good God. Good to see each and every one of you this morning. Amen. Anybody here for your first time this morning? It does. It's good to have you if you are. Amen. But God's a good God. Amen. Amen. Let's give the Lord one more shout of praise this morning. Come on. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. You may go to your Sunday school this morning, okay? Thank you, Lord. Them folks, are, them children are eager to go to church. Hallelujah. I want to be like that, don't you? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. It's a just a good thing. The Bible says this is the day that the Lord has made. We will be glad and rejoice in it. How many glad today is the day of the Lord? Amen. And the goodness of God. I want you to go with me in your Bibles this morning to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 2 this morning by the grace of God. And I want to share some things with you that the, the Lord has really put into my spirit. And the, even the songs go along with it this morning. And... Um, there's victory in Jesus. How many believes that? I believe that there's victory in Jesus this morning. Amen. No matter what the enemy may try to tell you or lie to you about it. Amen. I appreciate the goodness of the Lord this morning. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Sing a course of this song with me. There's a lighthouse on the hillside. It overlooks the sea. But I'm tossed it sins out of light that I might clearly see. It's a light that shines in darkness will safely lead me through if it wasn't for the lighthouse tell me where would this shall be would you sing with me this morning song lighthouse and 
me and my uncle and another preacher man. We recorded that on an eight-track tape. We saw, and I love that song, Lighthouse. But you know, I know more about that lighthouse today. I sung a song then, but I know about the lighthouse today. How many glad that you know about that lighthouse? It shines in the darkness. It'll always lead you safely home. How many glad for the lighthouse this morning? By the power of the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody just praise him this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, just praise him this morning. Hallelujah. Everybody that lives around me says, Turn that light house down. Those big ships sail that way anymore ain't no use of it standing around my mind goes back to that stormy night when just in time I saw Tell your neighbor you in the right place this morning. Amen. Come on, let's give God one more shout of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on now. Hallelujah. He's a good God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you Jesus. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter number two this morning. Amen. I want to share some things with you. Amen. As, as this is a type and a, 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 a of what God wants to do today. And the Lord began to speak to me and, and, and share some things with me that, amen. And, and you know, how many knows, how many's ever, uh, when you're, um, when I'm preaching or someone else is preaching, amen, as they sung that song this morning, how many knows the devil is a liar? How many knows the devil is a liar this morning? How many knows if he talks, he's a lying? Amen. Regardless, if he's talking, he's a lying. That's his nature. That's everything he does. Amen. But uh, when, when, you, uh, when you realize what God has done for our lives and, amen, how that he wants to, to change every one of us. How many believe he wants to change you this morning? Amen. But, amen, if I'm preaching or someone else is preaching or something and, or a song being sung and, and maybe the devil tell you that's for somebody else, it's not for you. How many ever had that happen to you? It's not for you. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Because, see, the, Satan comes to steal away the Word of God. If he can steal away the Word of God from you, it makes it unproductive in your life. And you have to quote the Word, amen, not by how you, you know, if the doctor gives you a, a prescription or a, a bottle of pills and it says take one three times a day and every day you get up and you look and say take one three times a day. If you ain't got a bit better, it says take them one time, one, uh, three times a day. You've got to take it three times a day. So you've got to quote the Word of God. How many believe you've got to quote the Word of God? Amen, because God's good this morning. Amen. Amen. Shut that door there if you don't care. Amen. Appreciate the goodness of God. Good to have, amen, each and every one of you with us this morning. Appreciate God's goodness and his mercy. Amen. Good to have the Birches with us this morning. 
Amen. I'm over around Nancy area. Amen. This morning, second, uh, second chapter of Deuteronomy, the Bible says this. Amen. Now listen to this. And we turned and took our journey. Everybody shout our journey. How many knows that life is a journey? It's a journey. Amen. Amen. A lot of things happen along this journey. Amen. And the Bible says we turned and we, now watch this. We turned, and I, I want to emphasize on that just in a minute, and took our journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. And the Lord spake unto me, and we compassed Mount Seir many days. And the Lord spake unto me, that was Moses, saying, You have compassed this mountain long enough. Turn ye northward. Amen. And command the people, saying, You shall you are to pass through the coast of your brethren, the children of Esau, which dwelt in, in, dwelt in Seir, and they shall be afraid of you. Take good heed unto yourselves, therefore. Now remember this. And meddle not with them. Don't, don't get into any kind of confrontation, for I will not give you their land. No, not as much as a foot breadth, because I have given Mount Seir unto Esau for a possession. You shall buy meat of them for money and you, that, that you may eat, and you shall also buy water of them for money that you drink. Here's what, amen. For the Lord thy God blesseth thee. Raise your hand and shout, I am blessed this morning. Come on, raise your hand and shout, I'm blessed. Now, I want, I want you to understand something. They had been in the wilderness for 38 plus years. They had been in this wilderness for 38 plus years. Amen. But they were still blessed of the Lord. Somebody shout, blessed of the Lord. Amen. Raise your hand and shout, I am blessed of the Lord this morning. Say it again. I am blessed of the Lord. Say it. Amen. I am blessed of the Lord. I am blessed of the Lord this morning. Amen. In all the, the works of thy hand, he knoweth the walking through this great wilderness these 40 years. The Lord thy God has been with thee. And I love this. I'm going to stop right there. Thy has liked nothing. How many knows that God is a provider this morning? How many knows no matter where you at, God will provide for you? Raise your hand and shout, God will provide this morning. Say it again, God will provide. Amen. I want you to get a hold of this this morning by the grace of God. And amen, as I was, amen, getting this and God began to deal with me in my spirit. And the children of Israel, amen, for 38 years and amen, plus years, they, they, they had been in this wilderness and they were circling, amen, or compassing, uh, amen, the, of Mount Seir. Really, they were going nowhere. Amen, they were just encircling the same mountain. Now, amen, in my and your life, God is a God that moves forward. God is always a now God going forward. How many believes that? God is, a, God is never a God of the past. Amen. Amen. God is a God of now. Somebody shout now. Amen. I can't base nothing on my past, the good, the bad. I have to base on what God is doing right now. Can I get a witness? I know a lot of churches that's had a great revival, and they stop at that revival and talk about what God used to do. But I'm not going to talk about what God used to do. Amen. I'm right now, and I need God today. How many is the power of the Holy Ghost today? How many is the anointing of God today? How many is the victory of God today? Amen. I've been in great revivals. I've seen the hand of God move, and it's changed my life, and I've experienced great things. But, amen, I've got to have today. Somebody shout yes. I've got to have today. Amen. 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 Now go back to verse number one again. Amen. Now look at this as we go into this. Amen. The Bible says, and we turned, and we took our journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. And the Lord spake unto me, and we compassed Mount Seir many days. They were encircling the same territory, but God is about to change some things. Raise your hand and shout, God's about to change some things. Amen. Next verse. Hallelujah. And the Lord spake unto me, saying, you have come past this mountain long enough. Turn ye northward. And I want to preach in just a few minutes this morning and, and teach to us, amen, just some things that God had talked to me about. How many ever feels like you're going around in circles? But God said, 
I'm going to change that. Come around and tell your neighbor, I'm getting out of this circle. Amen. Now, here is the thing. The people that's getting ready to go into the land of the promise, the land of Canaan, the devil, amen. Or, amen, there's been a whole generation. There's been a whole generation for 40 years had to die out. Amen. Because they would not believe that God would and could. How many knows this morning? You've got to believe God regardless of what you see, what you feel, or what the circumstances present themselves. You've got to say, I know God this morning. Do I need to say that again? I've got to believe God this morning. How many of y'all have to believe God this morning? I've got to believe him for today. Amen. There was a generation that said, amen, can God? Amen, can God do this? Can God do that? Amen. But all things is still possible with the power of the Holy Ghost this morning. And tell your neighbor, I'm going to quit going in circles. I'm getting ready to move forward by the power of the Holy Ghost. I will not go aimlessly. I will not be a drifter. Amen. I've got a direction this morning by the hand of an almighty God. And with that direction, I will win this morning. Hallelujah. Give him a shout of praise. Is this a Pentecostal church? Come on, give him a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Look at these scriptures this morning. Amen. I want you to feel this. I want you to sense this. It's so easy to settle down in a temporary place and get used to just being in that place and never change. I've had had a doctor one time to tell me when I, I was I was very sick, and he said and, and he meant well. He said, "You may just have to live with it because it may never change." You couldn't have thrown me. A, a, you could have thrown me out of a plane twenty thousand feet with no parachute, and hit me hit the ground hurt any worse. Cause he gave me no hope. He didn't. He he just said, you know, what if I live with this the rest of your life? And I thought, God, I can't hardly live with it now. <laughs> Let alone the rest of my life. Y'all hear me this morning? Amen. A- and. Uh, I walked out of there, and man, I tell you what, I was just a mess. I don't know if y'all have been a mess or not. <laughs> Amen. But I heard that still small voice said, I didn't say that. And I know someplace, somewhere, I'd hear God say, I've been around this long enough. And I was, it was on a Thursday night, and Brother Mitchell Bunch was having church, and Brother Buford Bain was preaching. And oh, I felt in my spirit, I felt in my heart, I've got to go. I've got to go to that service tonight. And I wasn't able to go. I wasn't able to drive. I couldn't drive. I wasn't able. And uh, I asked Jason, he, he still worked it day and day at that time. And I said, Jason, he, I said, will you take me to church tonight? He said, yeah. I said, I'll take you. And I got everything lined up to go to church that night. And you cannot believe at the warfare that started immediately because Satan wants to keep you going around the mountain. He don't care how long you go around the mountain. <laughs> Is that right? How many, how many knows what I'm talking about? Going around the same old thing, believing the same old thing, never seeing nothing no better than what you're seeing right now. Amen. And 
amen, a person came to my house and they, they, they had some troubles and, amen, different things and, amen, t- time they left and time all this got done and, amen, I, 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 just, I just wasn't able to go and I said, I, I, I can't go. I can't go with tears streaming out. But I felt that, 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 that urgency to be there. Amen. How many of those that be in the house, how many of you felt that urgency in your spirit? Amen. Hallelujah. And uh, finally, when everything got said and done, the amen, and I started going around my mountain again, hearing them words, probably get no better. Probably just going to have to learn to live with it. See, a lot of times we've learned to live with things that we should be living with. And when, when I, and I, I looked at Jason and we said, our faster we are, and amen, then plus that, there's an hour, at least an hour to get there. If everything goes good, at least an hour to get there, and amen. I said, will you take me on? Will you take me on to church? I know it's going to be late. I knew, amen, I know even church, amen, could even be over time I got there. But I want you to understand one thing. I walked in that place tonight, and it wasn't about a church, it wasn't about a man, but it was about the presence of God in the right place and me being in the right place at the right time. Does anybody hear me this morning? Amen. Hallelujah. I walked in that place, Brother Baines got done preaching, nothing spectacular, nothing great, nothing, nothing. Y'all heard the story. Amen. Brother Baines give an altar call, then he give a prayer line, and amen, I walked up there, and Amen. And Brother Baines just prayed for me just a simple prayer. Uh, amen. And amen. Really to a point, I didn't hear no thunder. I didn't see no lightning. I, I didn't do that. But I felt the presence of God telling me, uh, amen, one more step uh, and things are going to change. Uh, one more day uh, and things are going to look different. Uh, one more thing. Come on, somebody. You can't sit down right now. You can't die in your place. Uh, you can't die in that place. Uh, Satan wants to convince you uh, that you'll die where you at. Uh, but I I'm not going to die where I'm at. God's still got a plan. God's still got a victory. God's still got anointing. God's still got a power. And the devil's still a liar. And somebody needs to claim, devil, you still defeated by the blood of Jesus. Somebody give God another shout of praise in this house this morning. Devil, I refuse to die here. Amen. You told me I'd never get out of this wilderness, but I'm coming out by the anointing and the Grace of God. Somebody ought to shout, I'm coming out. I'm coming out by the anointing of God. Woo! Hallelujah. The devil will kill you. He'll assassinate you. That song that Robin sung this morning, I I never heard that song before. An awesome song. Hallelujah. Can you imagine... Those people, they grew up in the wilderness. Some was born in the wilderness. They had never had anything but the wilderness. It was their home. It was everything. God gave them manna. Amen. The tabernacle set out there. Amen. The fire of a night would keep them warm in that coldness. Amen. The cloud by day would shield them from the sun, from scorching them. God knows how to provide for you even in the midst of your wilderness. Amen. But here was the thing. I want you to understand something that these people did not do. By the grace and the mercies of God, they never built houses in the wilderness. They only dwelt in tents. A tent dweller was somebody that had no permanent dwelling. Amen. Amen. Now listen to this, amen. The tabernacle did not have a floor in it because of one reason. It was going to be taken down and moved again. And when the glory of God lifted either by the fire or the cloud lifted up off of that tabernacle, they had to fold that tabernacle up and they had to follow that cloud or follow that fire called the presence of God. Does anybody hear me? 
Amen. There was a time in your life. Amen. Amen. Listen to this. Jesus said, I go away and I prepare you a place. Amen. The place that God is preparing for you and I is a permanent dwelling place. It's a place that's got a floor in it. It's a place that's got permanent walls in it. It's a city that's not built by hands of a man. Can I get a witness in this house? Amen. It's a heavenly city. Amen. It's whose builder and maker is nobody else but God. And God alone. Do you hear me this morning? Uh, amen. I'm talking to you. Amen. But in this life, uh, we are living in tents. Will you understand this or not? This is a tent. It won't be here long. Every one of you. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 13, I believe it is, verse 17 or somewhere in there. Here we have no continuing city. There's nothing here that is permanent. Nothing. It comes and it goes. I come and I go. Every one of us, if you've not looked lately in the mirror, you ought to look. You're getting older. <laughs> Do you like it? No. But here's the thing you and I do this morning. Amen. God is saying, you've got to keep on the journey. You've got to keep going. You won't die in the wilderness. God never wanted that generation to die in the wilderness. Can I get a witness in this house this morning? Come on, somebody give God a shout of praise. Amen. The wilderness is just a place that you're passing through this morning. Amen. And God began to speak to me. He said, son, uh, tell my people I'm wanting them to move into a greater victory. I want you to be able to move into a greater victory. But I prayed, preacher, and God has not answered. Uh, that doesn't mean he's not answering. How many still got breath in your body this morning? How many knows he's a mighty good God? Look at this. By the grace of God, I just want, want to bring out everything that God began to share with me. Satan says you'll die in your wilderness. You'll never come out. But Daniel, verse number 14, no, verse 13 of second chapter Deuteronomy. Just verse number 13. Look at what God says to do. Rise up now. Listen, folks. How many knows it's easy start building a permanent place, a permanent house in a temporary place. Will this ever change? Will this ever be different? Will this ever be any, anything but what I already know? And how many in here this morning know sorrow? And See, God is wanting to change me and you. God's wanting to change us. Let me believe that. From faith to faith and glory to glory. See, when you trust God and what you're going through or what I may be going through or, or when you go through it and you say, God, I can still trust you. In, in the uh, hospital, when Sister Jean and I were in the hospital and when she had a wreck and and, and she spent the 38 days in the hospital. And I, I don't remember if she did in Lexington or not there the first eight days. But when we got to Somerset and uh, uh, I brought her little laptop and different things. And, and, and she would look up uh, uh, songs and she would play those songs. And, and, and one song that God gave her that, that was amazing. And, and I'll be truthful with you. Amen. A few times uh, the, the song, and it, it's an awesome song. But I still trust you, Lord. That was the song. I still trust you, Lord. And a few times, it got me shaky. You ever been there? I trusted you. But look what happened. Well, that got quiet. I trusted you, Lord, but things are not working. 
But see, you can trust God on the mountain. And life is pretty good on the mountain most time. But down in the valley of trials and temptations, when all the hell has camped about you, and tells you you'll die in that wilderness. See, but God says, arise, rise up and get over this thing. Get over the brook, get over because we're getting ready to go into the land of promise. We get ready to go into a place like you've never been before. I fed you with manna, but now the manna is going to cease and you're going to eat the good of the land. <laughs> Somebody shout hallelujah. I've given you manna every morning, every evening. You got manna. I fed you angels' food. I fed you bread from heaven. Y'all hear what I'm telling you this morning? But God says this you get ready to go into that land, amen, of milk and honey. There's going to be more than enough in that land. Going to be more than enough. Hallelujah. Oh, God, give God a shout of praise. Listen to what God's trying to do. He's trying to move us to a greater victory this morning. How many believe that solid rock is moving toward a greater victory? this morning uh, by the grace and the power of an almighty God. Uh, would you one more time give God uh, a great big shout of praise here this morning uh, because God, uh, amen, can you believe what I'm telling you? I'm not preaching to Sister Charlotte. I'm preaching to you, Brother Buddy. <laughs> Brother Buddy, I ain't preaching to you. I'm preaching to Sister Charlie. You gotta, it's for you, Rachel. It's for you, Brother Tim. It's for Brother Wayne. See, don't look, just look and say, it, it, it's for somebody else. It's for me. It's for me. See, where I live or where I die, I belong to God because I've been bought and purchased. Raise your hand and say, I've been bought, I've been purchased. How many of y'all, how many of y'all have got a car that you bought? It's yours. I mean, it's yours. Jesus bought you with his precious blood at Calvary. It's yours. He, you belong to him this morning. Now watch this. Look at this. Amen. When, when you and I can get a hold of this this morning, he said, I want to tell you something. Amen. Now, Daniel, go back again. I want you to go back to, 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 to verse number two. Amen. Give God one more shout of praise this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. I've got to get somebody to listen. And the Lord spake unto me, which was Moses again, saying, Amen. Turn, you have compassed this mountain long enough. That word compass means to encircle. You're just going in a circle. But God says, uh, Amen. That time is over. Amen. Brother, we're living in the last days. Uh, I was listening to the news just about five minutes last night. Amen. They're, amen. Listen, folks, this world is in trouble like you ain't never seen. Amen. I, I was listening to a world conference. Amen. Well, the leaders of the world were gathering together and talking about a digital currency. Uh, amen. That all the world will have one currency. We'll have one world power. There will be really a one world government. There will not be a sovereignty of a United States or, or Britain. Amen. We're coming to, amen. Satan is going to rule this world. Uh, and brother, you and I need to get ready uh, by the power of the Holy Ghost uh, and be rapture ready by the power of God. No matter what comes or goes, uh, amen, that we're going home one of these days give God a shout of praise in here amen hallelujah look at this amen when you come past this thing Satan wants you to I don't know what your mountain is this, this was Mount Seir your mountain may be sickness it could be debt your mountain could be fear. Boy, there's a lot of mountains of fear. You can sit there and look at me any way you like, but amen. You deal with fear. You deal with torments. You deal with, you struggle with what can happen next. You deal with, I watched a lady one time, I, 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 I was a child, and I watched a lady deal with fear of death. She feared death. Everybody that she knew, and most of them was in her family, had died at a very early age, somewhere maybe in their 30s and 
uh, and 40s. They all, they all just would die of a heart attack or something or I guess maybe high blood pressure and a stroke. And amen, they would die early. And she really believed that she was going to die in that maybe that 30s or 40s. And she worried all the time. And she was all the time afraid that her children, that she was going to leave her children and she would never see them grown. And she had several, I guess, breakdowns over this thing. And uh, Satan would torment her beyond understanding. I see many of you can relate to that in some fashion, way, or form. Amen. But see, here's the thing. You have to believe, amen, you have just to know and, and believe, be understanding, God is in control. I can't change my height. I wish I could sometime. I'd be six foot one day and four foot the next. Boy, that'd be a, that'd be a mess, wouldn't it? See, there are some things that God didn't put in your power. Amen. If we could all change the, how many of y'all would like to change the weather? I mean, to be honest. You know what kind of mess we'd have? You think you, you think the weather's a mess now? Huh? It'd be a mess, wouldn't it? Now, if I controlled it, we'd all be happy. I'd have y'all 85 to 105, and we'd all feel good. Somebody shout amen. We'd have a desert for long. Amen. But God's still good. Somebody shout God's still good. Amen. But God knows exactly what to give you at the time to give it to you. Everybody shout moving to a greater victory. Come on, say moving to a greater victory. Amen. You have come past this mountain. You have encircled this thing long enough. Do not Start speaking. I told you all the story. I'll, I'll go back to the story of, of going to church that night. And I walked to, up to Brother Mitchell's, up to the front where Brother Baines was asking people to come up and get prayed for. His floor does not slain. It's just level. And uh, I walked up there and Brother Baines prayed for me. Most of y'all know Brother Baines. You know who I'm talking about. And he's dead. He's in heaven today, by the grace of God. Amen. And uh, shouting the streets of gold. And uh, he prayed for me. And uh, there wasn't a whole lot of anything going on, but I sensed the power of God. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Sensed the presence of God. And I turned around. I, I was very sick. And I turned around. And I started to walk back to my seat. They had chairs out in the aisle that night. And I was sitting in an end chair. And I started to walk back there. And when I did, there was a step about that high. There was no step there. But there was a step there. And I stopped. And I seen that step. But in the natural, it wasn't there. And that step was there. And I stood there for just a moment. I guess people didn't know what to think about it. It doesn't really matter. But maybe they paid no attention. I don't know. And I just stopped and I, I looked at that step. How many ever had God to visit you and things like that? And there was a step there. But in the natural, it wasn't there. I know that people don't believe stuff like that. But, uh, amen, maybe there's not been, I don't know. I, I just can't say because I don't know. But anyhow. And I did this right here. I stepped up from that step. But there was no step there. Now, people may have thought, what's he doing? But at that moment, I stepped up on that step. I felt that little twinge. Knowing from that moment, there had been a change. God was giving me, you know, you've got elevated. One step at a time. 
of the power of God. Let me believe that. Amen. In the struggle, one step at a time. By the grace of God. Anybody hear what I'm preaching to you right now? Amen. Now watch this. See, so many times we circle the mountain and we go round and around. Daniel, go to the book of Philippians, chapter number 3 this morning. Amen. I, I, I know you know this scripture very well. But let's go down to about verse number 12, I guess it is. Uh, amen. Let, let's, let's back up to verse 10. Let's back up to verse 10. And listen to what Paul said, that I may know him. Somebody shout amen. Amen. I've been praying lately. I've been seeking God for, for months and even years on this. But I've been seeking God. Oh, friend, I know that we're in the hour of a mighty move of God. God, amen, I don't know when God does. I don't know when God But you've got to get ready. How many knows you've got to get ready? Amen. Listen to what Joshua did in the book of Joshua chapter 1. Amen there. He said, amen, he went through. Amen. Moses had died that morning. Forty days from Moses. Moses, amen, that buried him in the mount up there or the angels of God did. Amen. And Moses was dead and the children of Israel mourned for Moses 40 days and nights. Amen. And then God spoke to Joshua and said, get the people over Jordan. Get them over Jordan. Uh, amen. And then he sent, amen, he sent people through, uh, amen, uh, messengers, really what they were, go, through the tribes and said, prepare ye victuals uh, for in three days uh, we're going over this Jordan. Uh, how many knows you got to get prepared uh, to go across some things? Uh, you can't keep circling. you got to get prepared. Somebody shout, I'm prepared. Uh, Amen. I'm prepared this morning uh, by the grace of God. Uh, I want the power of God uh, in my life this morning. Uh, I want the spirit of the Holy Ghost, uh, amen, to have every access to my life this morning. you got to get prepared. Everybody shout prepared. Say it again, prepared. Some people ain't prepared for class, are they? Those are going to have trouble. Can't, can't, you got to get prepared. We're going over this Jordan. How many of y'all want to prepare for a move of God in your life? But here's the thing. See, I, I, I preach revival. I'm a revivalist. I, I want the power. I've seen revival. I've seen what revival can do. It can change communities. It can change lives. It, it changes things. But listen to this. There's one thing greater Amen. Than a corporate revival is to know Him. And when you can get to know Him, everybody shout, Know Him. I mean, know Him. Know Him. Anybody know what I'm talking about? What that word know Him means in the Greek is this to become one with Him. To become one with Him. Think about that. Becoming one with him. Paul said that I could become one with him. And ever what he does, I do. Ever what he goes through, I go through. And the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering. Now I know, I know there's going to be a general resurrection out there. But I want to know that resurrected power, amen, in my life. How many of you want to, amen, and the sufferings being made conformable unto his death. Amen, what he went through. Amen, but listen folks, uh, if by any means I might obtain the resurrection of the dead. Next verse, now watch this. God, amen, give God another shout of praise in here. Amen, now listen to what Paul says this. Not as though I have already obtained... How many knows that none of us has got there yet? The children of Israel were coming out of the wilderness for after 40 years. 40 years coming out. God said it's, it's time to come out. How many of y'all see a change today? How many of y'all see a change today? Open that door, Brother Jeff. Not as though I've already obtained, neither already perfect or mature yet, but I follow after. See, here's the thing you've got to do. You've got to be a God chaser. Anybody here ever run a relay race besides me? Relay race, come here then. You know what I'm talking about. With, with, with the baton. Okay. Amen. Now. You get, you got the baton. You're running. 
Okay, no, wait, okay, you guys, now wait a minute, I'm, I'm getting ready to come up on you. I, I, I'm running, I'm sorry, I'm the one doing the running. I've got the baton. Now, he's got, that's it right there. Now, look at, look at what he's doing. He did, uh, he did exactly, amen, what he's supposed to do. He's got to keep his vision forward. He only glances back to see where I'm at. Amen. And when I'm coming with this baton, I've got to, and, and he starts taking, he starts, amen, as he gets close, he starts going, and I'll pass it off, and he, and he keeps running. Folks, we've got to keep our vision forward this morning. How many believes that? Amen. I know what's been the past, but God's passing off to us. Amen. A greater victory. Amen. God spoke that to me. I think there may be a song on it. I don't know. But God's moving me to a greater victory. How many believes this morning that God is wanting to move you to a greater victory? In the name of the Lord, would you give him another shout of praise in the house of the Lord this morning? I'm not there. I've not got it yet. But one thing I'm out, I'm following after it. I'm following after it. Now watch this. This is what Paul said. Why am I doing this? Why am I running like this? Why am I giving this? Why am I pressing like this? Because I was on the road to Damascus with letters from the high priest and the rulers to put men and women in jail and to force them to denounce their faith in Jesus Christ. And on that Damascus road, there was a light that fell from heaven, shined from heaven, and it blinded me. I'm religious. I'm, I'm a Pharisee. I've got all the, the pedigrees. I, 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 I rank up here. I'm a Hebrew of Hebrews. I'm a Pharisee of Pharisees. I set the feet of Gamaliel. Man, I mean, he, he had the degrees. He had it right. Y'all hear me? But he was going the wrong direction. And God said, I'm going to touch old brother Saul. That was his name at the moment. Saul was his name. And a light shined from heaven. And it blinded him and knocked him off of his horse. And in that place on the ground, he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecuteth. Paul had not been persecuting Jesus. He was persecuting Jesus' church. Jesus was done, and he done sent it back to the heavens. But see, watch this. Look at this. What happened that day? <laughs> Can I use your brother Randall? Look at this. Turn around and go that way. Okay, well, just, okay. Watch this. Hold it. Just hold it right there. I'm going to get you. Here's what happens. But I follow after, if that I may apprehend, that for which also Paul was apprehended. God apprehended Paul and got a hold of Paul in such a way by the power of God. Anybody hear me this morning? That Paul said, I want to get a hold of God the way God gets a hold of me. Amen. Amen. Now that ought to make all y'all want to shout hallelujah. Listen, if Satan keeps, uh, all right, let me go back here. Where do you wonder at, Rachel? Where do you wonder at, Heather? <laughs> Brother Kelvin, where do you, W-A-N-D, not W-O-N-D, but W, where do you wonder at? It says that, come on. Am I right? We wonder. Right here. We, and it, and, and it's, it's wearisome sometimes. It's draining sometimes. See, there's some things that has to be left in the hands of God. Let me believe that. And you go to God and say, God, here's that song, Sister Jean's song. I still trust you, Lord. I still trust you. What if she don't walk again? The doctors didn't tell her she'd walk. None of those in Lexington said she'd ever walk again. I 
going to have to push a wheelchair the rest of my days. That her laying in that bed saying, I still trust you. I seen a lady the other day, her and her husband, and I don't, I didn't know the people. I don't know what happened to her, but she walked across in front of me and Jason, I believe it was, well, from here to Sister Mimi, probably said, well, and she walked like this. I said, Jason, do you realize that's the way Sister Jean was supposed to walk? If she even walked, she's supposed to walk. Her knees were never to, to bend no more. You get hit by a car, you slap into a metal guardrail with your knees, see how your knees react. Twice. Now, I'm not, listen, I'm not living there. I'm just trying to show you a point here. But I'm using these things of the past to prove a point to you for today. That mile marker, 59 sign. Now we'll forget it. And after the wreck, somebody took it up. I don't, know, I, don't, I don't know where it even went to. It's not there today. Unless somebody put it back in the last week. And she flipped and flopped all around that mile marker sign. If she, her body had come down that. What if her head had hit that guardrail? See? Thing was, God was in control even to orchestrate. And that's why she could sing, I still trust you. Now, I'm being honest with you. It got on my nerves a few times. She that bad she sang that song, I still trust you. I'm human too, folks. You smack me and I'll hurt. Y'all believe I'm human? <laughs> no. <laughs> but here's the thing. God gave her that song to walk her out of that place. And God will give you a song, however what it may be. Amazing grace that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. You're forgiven sanctified and made holy through the precious blood of Jesus. <laughs> Ain't that good news? Now what, let's, we got to get back to this thing. See, God wants you to know him. I love revival. I, I pray for revival every day that God would send a revival to this place and bless you and heal you and strengthen you and encourage you. I pray for God to minister to hearts and lives and that our young people, amen, would get a, a greater vision of the things of God. But if you know God, if you know Him in a certain way, amen, listen, folks, amen, hallelujah, amen. I'm not, I don't know Him like I need to know Him yet. Do y'all know Him like you need to know Him yet? But you know what I'm doing? I'm learning. And they sang that song. Learning to lean. I'm learning to lean. I'm learning to lean on Jesus. Finding more power than I ever dreamed because I've got a heart that is learning to lean. It's easy to sit down. Fear will set you down. Let me believe that. And we'll go through the motions of church. Y'all with me? But listen to what Paul is saying here. I want to apprehend I want to apprehend him. I want to catch him. I want to know him like I've never known him. Because when you know him, there ain't nothing else worth living for. How many believe that? Let me tell you something this morning. If I didn't have the Lord, I don't know what I'd do. 
I hear so many people. I see so much tragedies. I, I feel their hurts and their pain sometimes. And I sit in their face. And, and I, amen. And I'm thinking, God. What would we do if we didn't have you? That's why when you come in them doors, amen, you shouldn't come in there and see, well, where are they at? God, I thank you. I just thank you. We ought to have a praise on our lips, a song in our Can I get a witness in here this morning? We ought to have a jubilee like you ain't never known. Amen. The world ought to hear us. Amen. Listen. Amen. I listened to something. I was in, I don't know where I was at the other day, Walmart or somewhere. I don't know where it was at. Hey Amen. They had one of the TVs on. And the, the I don't know if it was the final four or what it was. And I never seen so many people. Hey Amen. So excited and so thrilled. Uh, hey Amen. Their team and they were wild. Uh, hey Amen. They were anticipating. Uh, hey Amen. That they was going to win. Uh, and we come to church sorrowful uh, and full of heaviness. Uh, but look what the Lord has done. Uh, has he blessed you this morning? Uh, hey Amen. I know. Hey Amen. Uh, them people's got problems too. Uh, but they're putting something above their problems. Problems. Uh, they're putting something. Uh, they may have paid five hundred dollars for a ticket. I don't know, uh, but they're putting something uh, because they are a fan uh, of their team. Uh, amen. They're all excited. Uh, I'm a Jesus fan this morning uh, by the grace uh, and the mercies of God. Uh, amen. Uh, I have situations. I have problems. Does anybody hear me this morning? But one thing I have, uh, I have hope in God this morning by His grace. That's why I come to church. I'm not feeling God all the time. I, I'm not just, well, amen. But I realize how good God has been to me. I realize I'm standing here, amen, preaching the gospel by his grace and mercy. To live is God this morning, church. You take that out of my life and I don't live. Somebody shout amen. We've all been detoured. We've all been had... Amen. How many ever took your eyes off Jesus? Besides me. Uh -huh. Amen. Just let me tell you something. You realize you ain't got nothing when you take your eyes off of him. Nothing but seas, stormy seas and wind are blown. This is what Paul is saying here. I've got to hurry that I may apprehend. Because I've been apprehended. God's got a hold of me. i got to get a hold of him. How many ever God's ever stirred you just get hungry for more of him? Just hungry for him. Amen. Hallelujah. I know we got several out this morning. They're, they're on spring break or they, they, they're, they're gone somewhere today. But let me tell you something. Amen. See, I, I want this church full, but that's not my hunger. I like to see it running over. I like to see us have set seats all the way at the front. I like to see us talk, talk about building, knocking a wall out and putting some chairs out. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? But that's still not my hunger. It's a passion. It's a desire. But my hunger is to get a hold of him. To chase after him. Y'all hear me this morning? Next verse, Daniel. Hallelujah. Brethren, I count not my, myself to ap apprehended. See, I've not got. I know there's a finish line. When I used to run races, we just start over here. Maybe the finish line be somewhere over yonder. I didn't know there was a finish line. And sometimes that finish line, you thought you'd never reach it. When you can run a mile in four minutes and I don't know, 40 some seconds, mile in a five minutes flat. Well, sometimes that five minutes seems like forever. <laughs> If you run the two mile race, nine minutes and something. If you run the seven miles, it's 44, 45 minutes. And sometimes that finish line was way off yonder. 
But Paul said, fight the good fight. Fight this fight of what kind of fight are you supposed to fight? Faith. 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 I still trust you, Lord. I still trust you. Amen. Paul said, I've not apprehended yet. I've not got it yet. I've not got what I'm after yet. Now I'm saved. I'm eternally saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. How many's on your way to heaven this morning by the blood of Jesus? How many has eternal life this morning by the blood of Jesus? Amen. Amen. Now watch this. Amen. Amen. For, watch this. And Paul said, to apprehend, to apprehend what I'm after. What are y'all after this morning? Well, if I could get my house paid off, if I could get that other car and, and, and get it paid off, then I, maybe if I could pay my farm off, or I don't know what it'd be, <laughs> ever what it would be. Y'all with me this morning? If, if, if I could just uh, hold on till I can get my Social Security. <laughs> Boy, that's a lot to look forward to. <laughs> Sorry, Brother Tim. And when, what if I can get this, sir? If, if, if I can get that, uh, I remember a man one time saying it, his life would be complete. This is when they first started coming out the digital televisions and the, the, the flat screens. He said, if I could get that 60 inch, 60 inch. Most of y'all got 72s already. He said, if I could get that 60 inch screen, he said, I'd want nothing else. That was a dream of his. I wonder what he would do now. See that 108 inch screen. But see, are y'all with me for just a minute? God's got a hold of me. See, God got me one day. Has He got you? God got me one day, and He turned my life around. But now, I've got to pursue after Him. And this is where people are not doing, they're not pursuing after him. They're wanting things. And things are good. And things are okay. He said, I'll give you houses you didn't build. I'll give you vineyards you didn't plant. I'll give you wells you didn't dig. I'll give you these things. But one thing you can't do, you can't forget me. You can't forget me. Are y'all with me this morning? You can't forget God this morning. See, if you forget God, amen, all those things are just things, and they don't do what they're supposed to do. They are called the blessing of the Lord, but I don't want them to become the cursing of the Lord. I want to apprehend him this morning. How many of y'all want to be after him? I, I'm just about done, I, but amen, my heart burns this morning. I, I want to know him this morning. I, how many of y'all want to know him I, like you ain't never known him before? I, amen. Then everything else sort of fades in the in the, in the the background. I, amen. It's him, I, and that's why Paul said to live is God or Christ and to die would be nothing but gain. Amen. Because absent in this body is present with the Lord. Amen. Amen. I'm going to a greater victory. How many of y'all want to believe go to a greater victory this morning? Sister Jean, you still got one of them little stop signs, sweetheart? Would you go get me one? Amen. Her kids this morning. Sometime, boy, she does them lessons in there. I'm telling you, I'd like to go in there and just sit down and, and learn. I feel like I'm seven years old. Oh, God, they're good. I'm telling you. Amen. She had the eggs the other day. Uh, Bob and uh, Bob and Fred, I believe it was. Oh, God. Amen. One of them gets smashed, another doesn't. But anyhow, y'all know the stories. I, I ain't going there. I want to go and see that. Amen. And she's had some, amen, made lion faces out of graham crackers and marshmallow cream and something else. And the lions couldn't eat them. But I was going to eat the lions. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. I'm going to make y'all speak. Some of us need to. No. Some of us need to. Stop what? Going around. And go. Somebody shout amen. amen. Get after him. If 
I could use you again. Look here, brother. You just say that you're the Lord just for a moment. And, oh, God, what does the Lord have? Everything. Anything that you need from here to there, he has it. And yet we're seeking after things from him. We want this, we want peace, we want, we, we want the blessings without the blesser. I'd rather have him than anything. I'd rather have the provider than the provision. Anybody with me? See, you can have the provision and not know him. You can eat the manna and not know him. Am I preaching to y'all this morning? Let's stop going around the mountain. I want to know him. And when you know from where your blessings come, and you're not looking for blessing just to make me better or richer, but you're praying, God, not my will, but yours. That's the goodness of God right there. So we get ready to close. Thank you, brother. Everybody shout stop. Going around the mountain. And let's go forward. Let's go. Quit wondering. But watch this. Look at this. <laughs> I'll use you too. <laughs> Read this for me, will you? Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehend apprehended. But this one thing I do. Okay. One thing he's going to do. Some things you got to stop. Am I preaching to you? It's childish, but it might help you. You've got to stop. said it you got to stop got to stop what this one thing I do forgetting all the accomplishments the achievements the failures the failures I killed men and women the apostle Paul did or Saul did he put them in jail he tortured them That'd be something hard to live with. Y'all with me this morning? Everybody shall stop. <laughs> I'd ask y'all if y'all getting this, but some of y'all are shaking your heads, so I think y'all. You gotta stop what? You cannot. Here's how you gotta say it. Thank you, son. You got to, how, how, how do I say this in the right way? Because I, I've been guilty of this too. I prayed and I prayed and I prayed. But it didn't happen. God didn't answer my prayer. Maybe he did. Just didn't do it on your route. Y'all with me? Everybody shout, forgetting those things. I've had some great revivals. Labored, Sister Jean and I drug these little kids. and We've labored, but I can't base my victory on what I did back yonder. My victory is getting a hold of him more. Getting a hold of him because he's the only thing that will satisfy Y'all with me this morning? Solid rock. Are y'all ready to go forward this morning? Are y'all ready to go forward this morning? Are y'all ready to go forward this morning? Are y'all ready to go forward? Everybody got your mind made up? Everybody got your mind made up? I won't die in that wilderness. Because God's moving us to a greater victory. Listen to this. The things which and reaching forth to those things which are before. See, everything that God has for you 
is before you, not behind you. I close. Get ready to come to the music this morning. Next verse, Daniel, I just want to read it even as we close this morning. You know, say God's a good God this morning. Amen. And I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. You know what that, you, you know what that prize was? It was Jesus himself. Hallelujah. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. And if there anything else, uh, be otherwise minded. God shall reveal even unto you. Raise your hands this morning. Shout, we got to go forward this morning. We can't circle no more. Come on, just come on, solid rock. Uh, amen. The devil has fought us tooth and toenail. But we going by the grace of God. Hallelujah. And look, look here. Amen. I just seen this. I got a I got me a great revelation. Can I share this great 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 revelation with y'all? <laughs> y'all ready for it? Hold on to your seats. What does it say? And every time I look up, I'm stopping my past. Don't go back there. <laughs> Ain't that a revelation? Going forward. I'm going to pray for y'all to get the tickle bug like I got it. Somebody shout hallelujah. Because God's good. Somebody shout God's good this morning. Amen. He's a good God. Stand to your feet this morning. Amen. By the grace of God, I want you to raise your hands and say, God. Come on, say, God. i got to stop my past. We're coming out of the wilderness, coming around that mountain. Hallelujah. We're going forward because, Jesus, you're, you're my prize, and you're right ahead of me. Hallelujah. Jesus is my prize. How many is he your prize this morning? How many is, your, how many is he your prize this morning? Is he your prize this morning? i got to get him this morning. I want you to raise your hands and say, God, I thank you for that victory this morning. God, I thank you for that anointing this morning. we got to go forward. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see you going forward this morning. I see us going forward this morning. Hallelujah. Give me the key. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know we're moving to a greater victory. Hallelujah. It's, it's, there is a song like that, ain't it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to a greater victory. But before we sing a course of that this morning, amen, I want my, bar uh, my, my flag bearer to come here. Hallelujah. Because we're coming to the winning side this morning. By the grace of God, get that. Hallelujah. We're going to the winning side. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah in this house this morning. Somebody ought to give him a praise this morning. Uh, hallelujah. 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 This morning, by the grace, somebody give him a wave, somebody give him a praise, somebody magnify him, somebody lift him up this morning, somebody praise him, hallelujah, the pit's over, the powers of hell are defeated, in the name of Jesus, by the power of an almighty God, would somebody give him another shout of praise, in this tabernacle, you've been preached to for years, by the power of an almighty God, you've experienced how many of y'all tasted revival? How many of y'all been in revival? How many of this touched your heart? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're on the winning side this morning. By the grace and the mercies of an almighty God. I want somebody to give him another shout of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's a mighty good. Sing it, ever what the song is. Hallelujah. I want some people to walk down this front this morning that need you. Just uh, what we're going to do is lay hands on you and just believe with you that God, hallelujah, is going to turn some things around. We've stopped the past. Uh, we're going forward. Hallelujah. When I see that message, brother, God gave it. Amen. You're the one that came to my mind. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. God's good. Sing the song. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's believe God this morning. Uh, Father, by the power uh, of the Holy Ghost. Uh, by the anointing of an almighty God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the 
said he would do this morning. How many of this message fits you this morning? Hallelujah. We got to get out of that wilderness. We got to go forward by the power of an almighty God. When, when did John have his written for his uh, the accident? We could go Saturday. See, her son should have got killed in that accident the way it happened. It was a destructive spirit. And it did break his, one, just one of them, wrist or wrist. But he was on a very high speed bike. And he ran into, he ran into the back of a trailer, flipped him and the bike all flipped it, and hit the back of the pickup truck tailgate throwed him down in between the truck and the trailer. And he come out with just a broken wrist. He should have killed him. But because prayers, people can get up hand of an almighty God. He'll intervene. Hallelujah. That hand's better, ain't it? In the name of Jesus, the power of the Holy Ghost. That's it, buddy. That's it. How many believe we need that? In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want you to give the Lord a great big shout of praise this morning. Come on, give him praise. Yeah. 